Felicity for Get Your Rock Up, here with the lovely Ken from Dropkick Murphys. How are you doing today? I'm having a great day. I'm very glad to hear it. Have you just been doing press all day? Have you managed to have some fun as well? Uh, it's still early here, but I've been doing press since I woke up anyway, but that's all right. <laughs> that's, uh, that's good. That means somebody wants to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. Um, and you guys, you know, there's quite a lot to talk about. Um, we'll start off. You released the first single, uh, The Seasons Upon Us, from your new album, Yesterday. Um, what have initial reactions to that been like? Oh, man, it's, you know, I'm um, not sure about how it is in the UK because I haven't heard because it's I'm out newer, but we released it over here a couple of weeks ago, and, um, you know, it's been crazy. It's getting all kinds of uh, attention. I think people like the fact that it's... Uh, a different spin on the average Christmas song, and I think it's something <laughs> yes, it that uh, might be a little more be a little more realistic for a lot of people. Definitely, I mean, it's an absolutely fantastic song. Um, do you guys kind of tend to enjoy Christmas as a whole? You know, humor aside, song wise. Yeah, I think it's a good time of year where you know everyone is, uh, together and gets to catch up with people, and um, yeah, we like we like chaos anyway, so that's good. <laughs> Brilliant. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's fantastic. It's very, very seasonal. It's getting us in the mood, um, of course. Um, and, I mean, the whole album itself is absolutely fantastic. I have had it pretty much on repeat since I got it. Um, have you heard much initial press reaction from it yet? Because it's not out, at, at least over here, until the 8th of January. Um, well, we, you know, we did come over to do a... a did, I, you broke up one time. Did you say the press reaction? Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Have you heard? Have you heard much, much about that so far? Um, yeah, I mean, it's all been good. We came, you know, we went over and did a, a full um, European um, press tour, and we came to London, and um, you know, the interviews are all great, and people seem excited. I know, I don't know what to write when we're gone, but uh, <laughs> we seem to, uh, <laughs> seem to really like the album, and uh, you know, I think that's, um, yeah, that's a great sign. I mean, you know, sometimes. Some albums are the type I think that get you right away, and some albums maybe you have to grow on people more. And I think this is one of those records that uh, catches you. You know, you, the song, the chorus is a catchy and, and repetitive, so you can sing along with the yes, second I chorus and some of the songs. So that's that makes it easier for people to wrap their head around it after one or two listens. You know. Yeah, definitely. And and it's very, well, you know, in some ways it's very different to the last album. Um, so of course, going out in style, it was telling a story. Um, and the full album, I'm guessing, kind of writing it, it must have been a lot, fair bit constrained by that. Um, whereas this one is, is much more of a kind of free when it comes to the writing style. Do you Did you prefer writing this one, or did you like having to stick to the structure of we're telling a story for the previous? Uh, the last album was definitely the harder road to take, and, you know, you're taking on two mediums in, in music and literature, and to combine yeah. them is a challenge, but... but like anything, when you take the tougher road, you come out the other side, um, you know, better at what you do. And I think that it made us better songwriters. But at the same time, it made this album, when we didn't have to take on two forms at the same time, it made it that much, uh, almost easier to write this album, you know. So, um, yeah, I think I think uh, going on style prepared us very well to write Sign and yeah. Sealed and Blood. Wonderful. And do you can you see yourself doing another kind of concept album in the future, or have you just not even started thinking about that yet? Well, that makes me tired to think about that. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> but we, we are we are we are for punishment, so I'm sure we will do it again. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, and when it comes to the kind of touring versus studio time thing, do you see yourselves as definitely a live band, and the studio time is just a necessity, or do you actually enjoy the recording process as well? <clears throat> definitely a live band, but we're learning to enjoy <coughs> the studio part. You know, the studio part. We worked with producer Ted Hutt on the last two records, and you know he's taken off a lot of that pressure of just like, you know, I'd be the guy that's trying to write songs and be like, do we have all the tracks recorded? Where's that? You know, just like almost the logistical, <laughs> and and to not have to like to know that someone else is taking care of that and, and it's hard for us to find someone we trust to take care of something that important but he has yeah. won our trust over and then some so it's it's nice we can focus more on you know writing and recording as opposed to you know who 
you know, did you book the studio time? What you know, and all the just all the little yeah. crap that people probably wouldn't think about when they think about a record, but it really can, you know, interfere with the creative process, you know. Mm. And what do you find the easiest part of the whole creative process? I mean, what comes most naturally to you? Um, for me, writing songs, you know what I mean? I don't, I often don't waver that hard on it. I like, I'll have nothing, nothing, nothing. And then all of a sudden, a friggin' song will pop on. You know, some of the best songs I've ever wrote were in, in two minutes, you know what I mean? Just, wow. I might, I might have had to wait two years for it to come around, but <laughs> it just seems to kind of spill out when it's time to come. So, um, but every, everyone's a little different, you know, but I think over the years, some of the ones looking back that I'm, most proud of, I would say, came out like that, you know. Yeah. And so if you had to, I know it's an impossible question to ask, but if you had to pick the song that you think could find everything you loved about what you do, what would that be for you? Oh, boy. Uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheat and give two answers. Musically, <laughs> I would, musically, I would say Rose Tattoo from the new album because it's like, you know, people seem to like find the lyrics meaningful, and I think that's yeah. important. That like that people are, are kind of grasped by the song's meanings. Uh, and musically, it's kind of diverse, but yet still us. You know. Yeah. If I, but then if I had to stay in the course of time, I always say "Boys on the Docks" because that's a song off our first album. That's about my grandfather, and the crowd always sings the big breakdown part, and you know, my grandfather's wife is still alive, my grandmother, and wow. she's been there at the shows when the crowd's all singing it, and it's, you know, those are the type of things that wow. they, uh, <laughs> are, are invaluable and unreplaceable, irreplaceable, you know. No, completely and utterly. It's, I mean, it must be utterly incredible to be able to watch people, you know, singing along to something that's, that's so personal as well. Yeah, it's awesome, too. <laughs> Um, and also, you guys, you have been encouraging fans to tattoo themselves with the new album cover logo. Um, and, you know, you're planning on featuring that when the album comes out. What kind of a response have you had to that? Well, I mean, you know, we see, we've see we seen so many band tattoos, uh, yeah. you know, of our logos over the years. And when, when, when we finished the artwork for this, we just said, oh, this is going to be one that a lot of people will get tattooed. So, um, you know, when we released the artwork, um, in five days we had over 100 tattoo submissions. So um, because we were, for the first time ever in our life, early with the artwork, you know, ahead of schedule, we were able to give people. So we basically said if you want to be in the album art, you know, and you you would get this tattooed, um, go ahead and do it. So it's cool. It's kind of a backwards thing that actually before the album, you know, Wow. People have the logo tattooed. <laughs> it just shows that people have faith that we're gonna you know, deliver something that they like. Obviously, I mean, if we made a you know a rap record, uh, <laughs> now we'll just tattoo that logo on their arm. You know, <laughs> you should release like a, a fake album just so I don't know, like four hours or so, just a truly terrible thing, just to just that scare would be people. Very, that would be a very cruel, cruel joke. It would, but I and think it would be worth it. You're an evil woman to even think that. <laughs> Obviously, so I, I think it'd be worth it. It would uh, it would definitely... I mean, think of all the kind of publicity you get from it. It would just be invaluable. But people might hate you for quite a long time. i got to keep you away from my manager. <laughs> Brilliant. And you guys, you're doing a massive tour next year as well. And, uh, you know, I know I, for one, I'm hugely looking forward to catching you back in the UK. Um so, yeah, looking forward to that. Have you got anywhere that you're really thinking, you know, this is going to be the show that we are looking forward to more than anything? You know, a country, um, a city? Um, I would just, I would say overall, just the UK in general, that it's been a little bit, we kind of backed off a little from going there quite as much just because we, we tend to do that throughout our, our career. You know, when you say when you've, you know, toured in the place two or three years in a row, you know, take a few years back and it kind of builds up the um, excitement again and yeah. be kind of starting the touring cycle of an album in a, in a country that's been great to us um, and we have a long history in, but, but yet I, like you can feel that uh, excitement kind of building for our tour there and, you know, the tickets are selling really well and people are really enthusiastic. So just the whole, the whole leg of the tour over there in general 
Plus, I can't say a city a certain city. I'll piss off the other cities. But, <laughs> you know, the good thing about being in this band is we don't have pockets of of strong markets like other bands that maybe rely on, you know, radio or something. Um, yeah. Shows are great in every city, you know, and that's a that's a blessing to be able to have a, a good show every night because of that. Fantastic stuff. And obviously, you know, you are going to be touring. You've got the new album out um, in January. What else can we expect from you for the next kind of six to 12 months that you're actually allowed to tell us about? Literally just go, go, go. We're, 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 we're booked, you know, right through all of next summer and probably beyond by now, but they just haven't told me yet. I, just, I don't want to, <laughs> I said, I don't want to know anything more than nine months. I'll take it scary. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we just... Um, just show up and go. Yeah, if you're gonna make a record, you gotta go. Gotta go play it for the people after that. So definitely. And could we maybe can you keep our fingers crossed that we might be seeing you at some of the summer festivals um, over in the UK? There's already been discussion about one or two of those. Yes. Fantastic stuff. Can't so... confirm or deny it, but yes, we'll see. <laughs> But it's a big festival and it begins with no. Um but wonderful. I mean that's that's good to know. I'm sure that will make a lot of fans very happy indeed. Probably I'm gonna have to let you go now because I know you're on a strict time scale. Um but it has been fantastic to be able to have a chat to you. And we will really, really look forward to seeing you in the UK very, very shortly. Okay, thanks so much for your help. We'll see you that's soon. That's wonderful. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye. Bye bye.